Hi, everybody. Fresh in from the garden, out planting tomatoes today. I thought I'd come in on a break and make this announcement. If you do follow me on Facebook, which I'm happy to have you follow me on Facebook, I had made an announcement earlier today. Um, in honor of International Woman's Day, I have released a teaser about Thomas John, an upcoming article that I have already written, has already vetted, been vetted, been vetted, has already been vetted and approved through their lawyers um, as okay to publish. And it should be out, who knows, a few days, a couple weeks. It's hard to say. I had just released an article about mediums not solving, uh, finding missing people. And so maybe they're going to wait a little bit before they they um, publish this one because, you know, I just published one and they might have a backlog. I don't know. So I'm making the announcement here on International Women's Day because, as you know, um, mediumship is a crime mostly affecting women. And I appreciate all the work that has been done fighting against women uh, um, being preyed on by these grief vampires, um, but mostly... It is male voices that are doing this. And um, I wasn't thinking of it this way whenever I first started getting active in uh, investigating what's going on in the mediumship world. But I think that it is a time that women take the power back and speak with their voice and say, no more. We're not putting up with this. So what I'm trying to tell you, and I will put a link to my Facebook page, the the information I've been posting in case you're interested in reading it in depth, but I will be releasing an article on Thomas John soon. And this article is going to have nothing to do with mediumship. Zero. It's all about Thomas John's history. Now we've all known for a very long time that he has a criminal record for um, I, I can't think of the legal term all of a sudden, but for saying that he had a um, uh, an apartment or whatever in wherever it was, I think it was Washington, D.C., or maybe it was New York, and that he wanted to sublet it. People gave money. He didn't, he didn't have a place, and he just kept the money. And it was really dumb. I mean, he used his own name. Well, part of the time he used his own name. <laughs> he had many aliases. Okay, so we've all known that for years. We also know about the PR company that had to sue Thomas John because Thomas John tried to, um, he hired them to clean up his reputation online and then didn't pay them. So the PR company had to, um, you know, go public. So we all know that, but we didn't know to the extent of what actually happened because all we have is Thomas John's word for it and a few newspapers. And I have all that up in various videos on the channel if you want to look at them and get the details. But this article that's coming out is going to have actual documents and it's going to have, and I make the case, and I think I make it well, that what he did then is what he's doing now. It's just there's new victims. And so I'm asking you out there, all those people who follow me or people who who believe, uh, as I do, that this is a crime on women that if you are female and care about that or, you know, care about women, cr crimes on women, or if you love somebody who has, who happens to be a woman, maybe um, please get involved. We can't wish this away. He's not going to stop. Um, the police don't care or uh, the law doesn't care, possibly because it is a crime on women. I don't know, but I'm starting to believe that. Um, his, uh, there's, you know, people are just giving him free time They They keep putting him uh, more and more videos up on TikTok and YouTube and, uh, Instagram and Facebook, you know, the seatbelt psychic stuff with no critique at all. And he is raking in the bucks every day. I get an email from him saying that he has another sell on his, his services, right? So his backlog must be years and years and years I, I can't even imagine trying to deal with all the people who book readings with them that he keeps saying that he'll give them reading to or give them I, I can't even imagine that but the point is is that he's not going to stop nobody's going to stop this absolutely nobody's is, is got um 
I don't know, got the nerve to do it. So what's going to have to happen is I'm giving you in this article that's going to be released the uh, all in one place uploaded documents that you will be able to use to appeal, um, to embarrass, to influence, to um, get his enablers to stop promoting him. And that is where I think we have some leverage. People don't like to have that in their face. They may not respond, but let's make them aware. And that means everybody you can think of, anybody who's ever interviewed him, anyone who's ever um, uh, endorsed him, um, even if they, they're quiet about it right now, because probably they're embarrassed of all the things that have come through, all the places that have hired him as a medium, all everything you could think of his upcoming cruise, um, his um, just everything, just let them know. You'll be able to send them this article and the documents, and possibly we can get more media interested in knowing what's going on and and get them to push the message out there further. So this should be soon. I'm pleading with you to help. I have no other options. I I don't think there's anything else we can do. We're just screaming in the sand and and women all over the world are being are buying into this. We can't educate them out of it. It's there's just too many people. I mean, we could educate some, but we can't educate everybody. They're all throwing money at him. So the only way we can do this is to is to really hold the enablers to their feet to the fire and make sure that they're aware that of who they're supporting, who they have supported in the past. And if they're not going to come forward and say, oh, now I understand, geez, I'm backing off, then they need to be told again and again and again and again what kind of person this is. Okay, that means all the celebrities who's endorsed him, all the morning TV shows, Caesar's Palace who had him there, Lifetime and ABC All Access, everybody. Okay. So be creative. Start working on your list. I'm not going to coordinate this. Uh, it's just too big of a thing. But please, uh, if you find good resources, emails, contact information, or you have a creative way of getting the message out, please post them everywhere you can. And then other people can do the same because it's not going to take one email or one tweet to somebody to make a difference. It's going to take hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of emails, tweets in your own words. All right. So if you care about this and you want to make a difference, best time is to announce this on International Women's Day that we're sick of it. All right. I hope that you, um, have some free time to enjoy. Hopefully there's good weather where you are. Spend some time with your flowers, your vegetables, your plants, your puppies, your kittens, your loved ones. Please stay busy. Please reach out to people for help and support. You're always welcome to write to me, susangerbick at gmail.com. Please reach out to me on Facebook, Facebook Messenger. I am as approachable as I possibly can be. So Let's make a difference, all right? Let's show women that we take this seriously and we're tired of it. Thank you, everyone.